Okay, so um, a lot of you probably know by now, but StreamFX is now hidden behind a paywall. And so I've been on a journey of trying to find as many alternatives to StreamFX as possible. One of the one of the features of StreamFX that I've been really struggling with finding an alternative for is the dynamic mask filter. And so what the dynamic mask filter does, I'm going to do an example right now. So what I'm going to do in OBS is I'm going to add just a random color source, okay? It's gonna take up the whole screen and we're just gonna make it the color blue, okay? So, um, I'll hide this for now. Then what I'm gonna do is for that color source, I'm going to add a filter. And we're going to be adding a dynamic mask filter. So this is something that's available for stream effects uh, that it's, it's a pretty advanced feature that not a lot of people use, but apparently some people use it. So uh, we're gonna add one. And what we can do is we can add, uh, we can choose another source that will act as sort of like a cookie cutter for this blue rectangle. So if you understand how masks work, a mask is basically, it, you can think of it like a cookie cutter. You have like, you have like a square and you want to cut out the shape of a face into that square. So the, the little cookie cutter thing that you use to make that shape, that's known as a mask. So a dynamic mask basically takes that concept and that cookie cutter that you use for the face is instead of just being a static image, it's now like dynamic. And that could be like a video file, it could be a GIF, or it could be like something like your webcam in, the, for, in this case. So I'm gonna choose my green screen webcam wherever that is. And we're gonna use that as the input. And then camera Tim helped move this part out. If we go down to uh, alpha channel and we change the base value to zero and the alpha value to one, you can see what happens. So that, uh, that, oh God, it's on the wrong scene. Let me bring it back. Okay, I'll add it here. So that, that, that blue rectangle now Sorry for the inception, <laughs> but you can see that my, my green screened camera is now used as a mask for that blue rectangle. Because if we turn that dynamic mask off, it's just a blue rectangle. But now my green screen camera is being used as a mask for that blue rectangle. So that's cool. Uh, so if you didn't know what that feature was, then yay, you just learned something. The bad news is that that feature is now hidden behind a paywall because StreamFX is paid and now you don't have access to that feature. So uh, you just learned something cool. Too bad you're never going to be able to do it unless you pay money. Um, but today we have been doing some tinkering around and we think, I'm going to say we because this is, this is the chat's uh, collective research. I think we've come up with a solution to do sort of a dynamic mask uh, without having to pay for stream effects, okay? So what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna remove that there. What is this media source? What is this? Oh. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get that blue rectangle and instead we're gonna get, sorry. This is a very impromptu tutorial. Let's go, to, we'll go to a brand new scene. We'll just make, make a brand new scene in a, inside OBS. And we'll, we'll just call it scene two, okay? And so in that scene, we're gonna add that blue rectangle again, okay? We're gonna add that blue rectangle, color source two. Nope, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> color source. There, we got that blue rectangle and we're gonna get rid of that dynamic mask because we're gonna pretend that we don't, we can't use that feature. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to add uh, whatever thing that we want to use as the mask. In our case, I said, we're gonna use our like webcam, like our green screen webcam. Uh, so we're gonna add that. So mine's called virtual green screen. Um, and what we're gonna do, so we've, we've got, my green screen camera, and what we want to do, this, this blue rectangle, we want to cut the shape of myself into this blue rectangle. So the first thing that we did 
I hope I get this right because I don't want to re-record this video. <laughs> the first thing we did is we want to make our green screen camera to be like a solid color. Fuck, don't raid me, okay? I'm trying to, I'm going to ignore this and pretend that like you didn't raid me. We're doing a quick tutorial. Hold up. Just ignore this. Fuck. Oh my God, I got to record. <laughs> I can't believe this footage. I can't use this footage because of copyright. I gotta start again. Thank you for the raid though. No, I'll just edit this one. We'll cut it out. Thanks for the raid though. Sorry, that was like, I'm an asshole for being super unappreciative for being raided. <laughs> but hello, people that are raiding me. Wait, I'll finish this tutorial thingy first and then I will, I will address you guys, but thank you so much. Okay, so where were we? <laughs> Um, okay, so what we want to do is we want to turn our webcam into like a solid color because we don't, we don't, we're using our, we just want to use our webcam as a mask. So we're going to turn it into a solid, solid color. And the way that I do that is the super noob way. I just add a filter to my camera to ignore all the other filters, but I, I just added a color correction filter. And I just like blast the contrast and the and the brightness, so I bec become solid white. Okay, so I'm, I'm solid white now. Now I'm gonna drag the camera underneath our color source, so that the the blue rectangle is covering up our camera. Um, and then we're gonna apply a blending mode, and we're gonna set this to multiply. And you see, it's going to it's only gonna show like my my camera now. Like the whole, the rest of the rectangle is gone, but only my camera is there. And then now this whole scene can be used as a nested scene inside of wherever I want to use it. So if I go back into um, my desktop source and I add a, uh, a scene, we're going to add that scene again. Scene two, boom, there we go. Look at that. We have a dynamic mask without using stream effects and everyone can do it. It's free. Boom. That's it. Anyway, if you guys like that, um, if, if that helped you out, then tell me so I know that it helped you out. Uh, also, uh, yeah, thanks. I guess that's, I never know how to end these videos. So if you like that, then that's really cool that you did. Uh, you can give me money now. That would be sweet. Okay, thank you. Go watch the rest of my videos. <laughs>